Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising for the last week of September 2017. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is um, the week of uh, um, balance. The week of balance is the urge energy and we're here to celebrate that last week of September. I want to say thank you to each and every person. Please like, share these videos and listen to your Sun, Moon and Rising sign. Um, this week is a strange week because these videos are being done on the 23rd of September and the 23rd of September uh, marks a significant uh, changes in the consciousness of humanity and um, it's weird <laughs> there's been a weird time coming up to this week because normally um, my readings are out and this is Saturday the 23rd of September so um, obviously whatever is happening and whatever is going to happen this week there is huge changes that is about to happen okay um let me take a look and see um what is plain we have the energy of the king of cups uh, and we have the ten of swords in reverse which is wonderful um there is message coming in in this week the zodiac energy is the energy of the hair so this is going to be wonderful um whatever is happening um, my grays are out but whatever is happening um, you have uh, the six of ones um, the six of ones is good news is on its way to you positive news is on its way to you whatever this news is is uh, of a positive positive and uh, um, situation that is coming in your life um, this news is going to um, um, make changes in your life positive changes will be entering your life so this is a really really wonderful um, positive week that is going to change a lot of city situations in your life we have the energy of uh, um, the full on Thursday which is um, a wonderful energy um, it's the energy of you going on a new part a new beginning in your life and you have the four of swords in reverse which mean um, you're leaving things behind you're standing up and understanding there is judgment and there is the two of ones so whatever has been happening we're going to take a closer look um, to see what um, is the significant role the number two is going to be a positive energy in your life it's going to be a week of dualities for you Virgos so let's see what other energies are here for you Virgos um, what other energies are here for you Virgos Let's see whatever energies are here for the Virgos in this week and um, getting this week as um, good news and the news is coming about emotional balance uh, so this is going to be wonderful whatever the situation is this good news is going to come in about the four of cups and this four of cups is emotional balance as I'm doing your reading it is 11 11 so there's a significant um, information that is coming in for you guys uh, 11 is like 11 is two times 11 11 11 two times the cup two times so there's has been um, and the number two is three times in this and number two is two times in this so uh, the number two energies is a uh, focus of duality that is going to be working in your favor in this week um, whatever is happening um, there's significant role that is playing in your life so let's look at Monday Monday we have the energy vibration of a water energy on Monday and the water energy is a king of cups uh, and this is a situation of whatever is happening is that you're moving away from this king of cups okay or um, this king of cups you're moving away from this king of cups um, whatever is happening um, I don't think it's a good idea to move away from this king of cups because um, actually um, this is a really good person this is someone who really loves you and care for you um, you're thinking about moving away but it's not going to be one of the um, best decision um, you know you need to connect with this person because um, there is a reason why this person was placed in your life so do not move away from this person all right whatever is happening as a and this person is playing a significant role in your life you need to stay focused um, this person is teaching you something and being there for you so there is something that is happening um, 
on Tuesday we have the energy of the air and we have the ten of swords in reverse which is a wonderful energy but yet still we have you also in reverse and this is the masculine aspect of who you are um, the masculine aspect of who you are is in a reverse with a ten of swords the ten of swords is always lie backstabbing and all the, that situation that has been happening whoever is this person it could also be um, a Taurus or a Capricorn person who um, is in the reverse for maybe this person has done something against you and they are in the reverse form so whatever is playing out there is something that is very significant that is playing out in your life it could affect you for some people but it could be someone who has lied and uh, um, tried to do something that was injustice which um, this person could be a, um, also a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn okay so whatever this person did um, their energy is is in the reverse form and um, it's not going to affect you that much because whatever lies or whatever they told um, you know it's not working out <laughs> as we move forward we have the page of ones and the page of ones is a wonderful positive energy um, the energy of the page of ones is that a lot of messages will be coming into a lot of people in this week this is actually a positive positive message because um, whenever this um, page of ones is a crowning of a week that means a lot of people will be receiving message so if you were waiting on messages um, uh, school business work whatever message that you were waiting on expect this a message to come in but it's it's not from inside of you it's not um, an intuitive message or a connection with your angel or guides these messages are coming from outside so email contact uh, text messages uh, that sort of a thing will be happening for most of you guys but it's not um, a situation of a spiritual connection but it is of an outer earthly connection okay so expect a lot of texts if you are waiting on um, letters um, if you were blocked if situations were blocked in your life expect that this is going to be cleared up in some way or another as we look at Thursday we have the energy of the air energy and this is a wonderful energy because it is the energy of the full the full is going on a journey um, whenever the energy of the full comes out and we have someone who is um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran okay whatever is happening is that you are moving away it's as if you're not really sure what way to go or where where you should focus on what you should focus on whatever the situation is so you have um, you're going on a new journey maybe you're starting something with this person or maybe you're just leaving this person behind and you're going on a new journey so whatever the situation is you need to understand how very wonderful and how very positive it is uh, so that um, you can understand um, where you are in your life at this time as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the four of swords in the reverse form so you're no longer in resting you or moving away from this resting period you're going to start um, to, to begin your life again um, whatever that is happening a lot of love will be coming in and this is a very positive so um, you know it's as if some people had bad breakups bad relationship and that sort of a thing and now um, you're changing your world and you're moving forward to something else and you're bringing in love in your life and this love is going to be positive a whole lot of love will be entering your life new love positive energy um, um, positive people will be coming in your life and bringing in these positive energies in your life as we move forward on a Saturday we have a water energy it is the energy of judgment um, whenever this energy of judgment comes in um, it's uh, the energy of judgment with the ten of wands and as it's a wake-up call about things that you need to get done it's a wake-up call about things that you have not resolved it's a wake-up call about things that you need to make sure that they're done before you can move forward um, as a wake-up call that whatever the burden was 
um, it's coming to an end for some people okay so this Saturday is going to be a wake-up call for a lot of people whatever the situation is whatever the burden is whatever that you need to get done you need to get them done because there's a lot of things um, so a lot of people clean their houses on Saturday which is a good thing because your house is, needs to be clean at least one time per week and people are not aware of that because there's so many energies people who don't keep their houses clean um, there's not not there's isn't a good energy vibration that flows in your house so you will realize that you always have conflicts and that sort of a thing your house need to clean at least um, a vacuum or um, you know cleanse once um, per day per week also whatever the situation is on Saturday there need to be a huge cleansing um, body mind and soul sometimes when people go to the spa it is also a cleansing um, it is a judgment call to do something to um, finish up something that need to be finished up as we move forward two of ones new beginnings for a lot of people um, new situations are going to be opening up in your life especially with relationships okay so um, whatever is happening and whatever was affecting your marriage or um, your partnership or your uh, marriage partnership or how many different ways can we say this some people can be married some people can be living together for a very long time uh, some people just know uh, yeah they're not married but yet still um, they have a very strong partnership and whatever has been happening is as if um, cupic is going to open um, new energy vibrations and new doors of uh, positive energies and love which is coming in which is today it's one of those days when the portals are opening up because it's the 23rd of September and a lot of things will be happening on this day um, in the consciousness uh, or unconsciousness of some people okay but this is very positive whenever um, the door open up like this is as if People who are looking for their spirit guides, people who are looking for their soulmate and twin flame is a positive day for this because it's going to happen. Okay, and that will be on Sunday. So let's break your week down. Sunday is going to be one of the best focal point. Um, the first half of the week is that whatever negative energies, whatever lies, whatever um, thing that was the, the backstabbing and all that, all that had happened. And um, it's going to be, it's going to be um, changing. Um, there is someone in your life who is a Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpion, and you want to move away from that relationship. Um, don't do it there's going to be a judgment call don't do it um, sometimes you need good people to be in your life okay this judgment call I would say not to do it so whatever that is happening um, in the beginning of the week with this person who um, is a water sign person don't do it you know uh, sometimes people are not who um, you uh, you know you wanted them to be but you know who are we but sometimes they're there um, they're just good people but maybe not understand understanding some certain aspect of them their selves so when people are sent to you or you connect with people it's for a reason so whoever this person is the Pisces cancer scorpion you know don't turn your back on them you know leave the chance of opening up to them and the second half of the week we have the energy of the fool some people will be going on a new journey some people will be walking away some people are trying to connect in different ways and different possibilities um, the second half of the week is going to be a positive week of love new love is coming in for a lot of people if you were looking for positive relationships twin flame soulmate um, the weekend is going to be one of positive um, ness. so love the energy of love is going to come in in the weekend and this is going to be actually very good because you have the energy of love new love can also be that new babies will be born so um, that can happen on Friday or it can happen that can happen on Sunday new babies will be born um, um, and these are two uh, married couples so if there you are married uh, 
there can be baby conceive or babies will be born um, in this weekend there is a, a significant plane because the four of cups energy comes up here with the six of ones the six of ones is always a victorious successful but we can be victorious and successful in a lot of things some people maybe are trying to conceive and this is what is happening whatever is happening a situation you're going on a, on a new journey with someone who is the king of sword okay you're focus and the whole energy of this week is actually news coming in but it's not news from within it's news from outside it's information from outside that will be coming in and we are we're going to work on these things and we're going to be understanding these things and knowing um, how to deal with these things so you know this is um, really really positive it's going to be a wonderful and a positive week so um, whatever burden that is there whatever that has been happening in your life whatever that you have been trying to figure out work around trying to understand um, you, the, the week you're in your 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 thoughts are going to be um, in balance emotions is going to be high but in a good way um, the king of cups is going to affect you but do not walk away from him because he actually uh, he or she actually needs a friend um, that is the Pisces the cancer the scorpion we have also the Aquarians the Gemini and the Libras and some of you will be starting out um, a new connection with them is it really one of the best things to do no I'm not really agreeing with that so um, we are going to look and see what is going on what is going to be happening in this week okay um, let's see what is the message that you Virgos receive for this week we have the message of the throat chakra I speak my truth and I encourage others to speak theirs too so this is wonderful um, I love you Virgos because you Virgos are always analyzing things and breaking down things and uh, this is a good one it says I speak my truth and I encourage others to speak theirs too and this is wonderful so whatever the situation is whatever is plain whatever is happening um, you need to know that speaking the truth is going to be the best thing to do in this week and I want to say thank you for being here namaste